Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Webcard Online and I'm all about the details. This is the Geely Bin Rui Cool and it's going to be our upcoming Proton S50. So guys, I've made a mistake when filming this video. Our Proton S50 will not be based on the Geely Bin Rui, instead it is based on the Geely M Grand. The two cars share the same platform but the M Grand sits one rung below the Bin Rui. So apologies and hope you guys bear with my mistake and well treat this video as kind of like the super R3 version of the Proton S50. Enjoy the video. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you guys on a closer look to check out this V-segment sedan. Alright, first up, let's talk about some facts and figures. The GD Bin Ray is actually riding on the BMA platform, the B-segment modular architecture platform uh, shared in Geely's group. And this one here measures longer, wider, but shorter than what our conventional B-segment sedans like the Toyota Vios and Honda City. The wheelbase is also longer than all of its competitors, so when this arrives in Malaysia, it's going to be the largest B-segment sedan on the market. It's powered by a 1.5-litre four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine paired to a 7-speed wet dual-class transmission, making 181 horsepower and 290 newton meters of torque. And it's also going to be the most powerful engine uh, B-segment sedan if it comes to our market. But in Malaysia, we're expecting it to get the 1.5-litre three-cylinder turbo as shared in the X50 or even the X90. Now this one next to me here is the range topping competition spec model which is priced around uh, 109,000 yuan, Chinese yuan. And you can see it gets a sportier aesthetics at the front here, black top, front grille, as well as the carbon fiber inserts for the lower splitter as well as the red accents. There's this nice little F badge here, reminds me of the Lexus F Sport. Over to the side it runs on 17 inch black alloys and the rear you get a very eye catching rear spoiler. Boot space measures 480 litres, which is larger than its competitors, the Honda City, EHEV, as well as Toyota Vios. The only thing that's larger than this is our very own Proton Persona, 510 litres. And over here, you can see that it's very easy to load items in and out, but it doesn't come with a powered tailgate, which is expected from a B-segment sedan. Now, let's check out the interior. Right, stepping inside to the cabin of the Brunery Cool and the first thing that caught my attention are the pulsating ambient lighting which changes different colours when you hop in. This is welcome light I've never seen in any, well, B-segment sedan. And there's also the F uh, emblem here, so that's a very, very nice touch. Now, overall, the interior of this cabin gives a very sporty feel to me. Uh, of course, it's down to these sports bucket seats, semi-sports bucket seats, with Alcantara finish on the center trims, with all of these very nice accents that goes around. Now, this being the competition model, of course, you get sportier treatments everywhere. So the steering wheel is a little bit sportier as well, and you get Alcantara trimmings over to the dashboard, as well as this orange insert that runs across the air vents. You also get stitching, real stitching over to the dashboard, which I think is very nice and the center instrument cluster right here over to the driver has this kind of a racetrack background which the last car that I've seen this on is the Mark 8 Golf GTI so they're trying to do something quite trick over here now what's kind of weird is that when I switch between the different drive modes the sport eco comfort adaptive the screen doesn't change um, maybe there's something over to the infotainment screen which I have to change around with the settings. Now speaking of this infotainment screen, uh, it supports the uh, voice command, navigation, this runs on the GKUI system. Um, again, no Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. And you get this very nice, well, GD calls it 540 degree um, camera view because you get to see the bottom of your um, undercarriage. So what you get, it's the similar setup as what you see in the Proton X70, which I think is quite nice. So yeah, overall, this cabin ambience, I mean, if Proton actually brings this model into, the, into Malaysia, uh, without sans all of these sportier treatment, this will still be the most high-tech, most impressive B segment sedan which you get in the market. You get a nice sound system, you get a nice sunroof, so yeah, hopefully Proton manages to bring all of these cool stuff into our S50. Hi Proton. Just do it! Make your dreams come!
come true! Now, in terms of storage space and practicality, the side door bins don't fit a large size water bottle. Uh, you get plenty of storage space for your loose items over to the center tunnel here. Now, this cup holder uh, is actually quite trick. Uh, let me just show you. They have these separators which are removable and they have different steps where you can adjust the different kind of uh, bottle size to accommodate the different bottle size which you need. And I think this is actually quite cool. So you don't have to fiddle or worry about when you bring a large or smaller bottle. Everything you can be adjusted. Center tunnel storage. Yeah, good enough. It's quite large. I like the drive mode selector here. It reminds me of the Volvo models which get like a metallic polish finish. Quite nice. But yeah, I think that's about it for the front cabin. Let's hop on to the back. Alright, seated into the back seat of the GD Binry. I have the front seat adjusted to my usual driving position and I'm 175 cm tall. I have about two and a bit tennis balls worth of knee room. Headroom is about one tennis balls worth. And amenities in here, you get center armrest with two cup holders. Rear air vents, uh, this is the single adjustment. So you don't have two separate for your left and right passengers. One USB type A charging port, as well as a nice little place for you to, once you plug in your phone, you can put it down here. Um, two back pockets. And what's very nice is that the rear passengers also get coloured seat belts, but I'm sure this is only reserved to the range topping competition model, and so are these like semi fabric seats. Now, I love the seating posture of the GD Bin Ray. Cool, uh, because it's very nicely reclined, it's at a good angle, and I get plenty of support over to my thighs, and I'm able to comfortably slot my feet underneath the front seats. So, yeah, I think long distance, this is actually a very spacious, very comfortable um, B segment. Now we've already spotted Proton road testing the S50 on our Malaysian roads so it's only a matter of time when Proton brings this into Malaysia and call it the S50. Now right now details are very scarce but initial impressions of this GD Binary Cool is actually a very positive one. When it eventually comes into Malaysia it will give all the other B segment sedans a plenty good run for its money because you're getting a lot of car for the money and knowing Proton even though they're going to price it slightly higher it's still going to be cheaper compared to other Japanese rivals. So when this comes into Malaysia, will you be excited for it? And how much would you pay for this? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.